Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I have kind of an interesting video idea for you. It just kind of popped up out of nowhere and I was inspired to share with you if I could only keep one perfume out of my entire collection for the rest of my life, what perfume would that be? So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I do have numerous perfumes. Um, not a huge, huge collection, but I do have numerous perfumes. And if I could only keep one and had to get rid of all the others, this would be the perfume that I would keep. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome on this channel. We do talk a lot about perfume. We also do a little bit of home decor, minimalism, decluttering, things like that. If that's something that you like, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And before we get into the video, I would love if you would also tell me down below, if you could only keep one perfume for the rest of your life, what perfume would that be? Or if you only have one perfume, what is that perfume? And with that out of the way, let's get started in the video. Okay, you guys, so the one perfume I would keep, if I could only keep one perfume out of my entire collection, all of them had to go. I was only allowed to choose one for the rest of my life. Currently, of course, that doesn't mean things can't change, but the one that I would keep is none other than, and some of you may have guessed it, especially if you know me well or are a friend of mine, and that would be Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. So this perfume, you guys, is just everything a perfume should be. This perfume embodies me as a person, everything that I want to smell like, everything that I love about perfume. It has great performance. It's a compliment getter. It's suitable for so many different occasions. This is the type of perfume you could wear just every day, day to day signature. You could wear this one to bed for a more relaxing kind of a nighttime scent, but it's also sensual enough, feminine enough, and pretty enough that you could even wear it on a date night. But if I could only keep one perfume, this would be the one. So this probably comes as no surprise to many of you if you've been watching my channel for a really long time, if you know me, if we talk about perfumes together, because I mention this one a lot, and this is that perfume that I just keep coming back to. I actually wore this one to work the other night, not even really thinking. I didn't even spray very many sprays, and I got two compliments that night, one from a patient and one from a patient's family member, um, and they just said that I smelled so nice. They said when you walked into the room, it just smelled so lovely, and I said, oh, I hope it wasn't too strong. Like, I don't want to give anybody a headache. And they said, no, 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 it wasn't too strong at all. They said, it just smelled so beautiful and so soft. And it just made the room smell so nice. I had asked this patient's family member, um, is there anything I can help you with? Do you have any questions? And he said, actually, I do have one question. What perfume are you wearing? And I was just so elated because I rarely wear perfumes to work that are like this noticeable because I don't want to bother anybody. And technically we're not really supposed to wear fragrance to work. So I usually don't. At first I felt bad because I thought, oh, I hope I didn't offend anybody but he said it just smelled so beautiful and he actually took down the name and wanted to know where he could get a bottle I don't know if he was gonna buy it for his wife or whatever but he wanted to know what it was called and where he could get it of course I referred him to fragrance by because you can get this on fragrance by for dirt cheap um, but I told him what it was called I showed him a picture of it and um, yeah it's just an amazing perfume and that just kind of solidified for me just how good this perfume truly is so before we get into the notes I'll give you a little bit of a close-up of the bottle it comes in this very beautiful elegant regal looking bottle it says Guerlain on the front that is what the cap looks like it's a very elegant ladylike classy looking bottle comes off like so and then this is what the bottle looks like so stunning the bottle is really pretty the mist is absolutely gorgeous and this perfume you guys every time I spray it on myself or on something else and then I leave my room and I come back to my room I'm always astonished how beautiful and pretty my room smells. This perfume is at the top of my list. And I know that I have other perfumes that were considered my favorite of all time. Miss Dior um, 2017 was my all time favorite perfume for women. Of course, that one has now been reformulated, so I can't get it anymore. I also really love Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf, although that one I think is just a little bit more sweet and sexy, not quite as everyday wearable. And Flower Bomb is not the type of perfume I would ever wear to work, whereas this one is versatile enough. I could wear it at night at home with my boyfriend, but I could also wear it to work in like a more sensitive environment. And I can also wear it to sleep because there's lavender in here. So it actually makes me like feel cozy and comforted. So it's just an incredible fragrance. And I just honestly think that if I could only keep one perfume out of my entire collection, this would be the one without having to think too much about it. So the notes that you have in here are lavender and bergamot in the opening. In the middle, you have iris, jasmine, sandback, and rose. So you've got some powderiness, you've got some floral components. You've got a lot of this kind of herbal um, aromatic lavender. You also have quite a heavy dose of Tahitian vanilla. So that's where that sweet feminine vanilla is coming from. You've got coumarin, you've got licorice, 
benzoin, patchouli, and Australian sandalwood. So there is a bit of a sweetness to it. There's a bit of a resinous nature in the dry down. And I honestly think what makes this perfume quite special, aside from the lavender and the vanilla, is the licorice. And you don't really think of Mongerlan as being a licorice perfume because licorice is not the note that stands out the most, but I can definitely smell it in there. There is a little bit of this licorice undertone. It's a very small component, but it really makes the perfume a little bit spicy, aromatic, and comforting and warm and vanillic and floral and a little bit powdery and a little bit creamy. It's just a beautiful perfume that I honestly think you can't go wrong with. Longevity on this one, I am not gonna say it's a beast. It doesn't project like a beast. It doesn't last like a beast, but I will be able to smell this on my clothing the next day after I've worn it. And obviously it projected enough that I got compliments and the patient said when I walked into the room, he could smell it. So it wasn't overpowering. I mean, right from the person's mouth, it wasn't overpowering, but it just smelled in quotations so nice. <laughs> and I think that is just perfect for a perfume. That's how I want to smell. I want to smell so nice, <laughs> uh, nice and lovely and classy and elegant and feminine. And that's what this is. So this is a 50 ml bottle. I've had this actual exact bottle for quite a while now, and you would think I would have gone through it by now, but I have just been testing and purchasing so many new perfumes over the last couple of years that I just have never actually gone through an entire bottle of Mangelan. But I do actually have a backup. I have a 100 ml backup. Um, I still sometimes think to this day about decluttering my perfume collection down to only five perfumes. I still dream of doing that. Could I ever do it? Would I ever do it? I don't really know because I have so many perfumes that I absolutely love and I would hate to part ways with them even though the innermost core of me desires that kind of perfume collection where I only have five perfumes. It's true. That's that's what I want. If I didn't have a YouTube channel um, and if I wasn't always trying new perfumes and you know adding to my collection, I probably would only have you know, maybe five or six perfumes. Cause I think that's normal, right? I would choose my top five perfumes that were the best and that's what I would have. Um, so this one would definitely be on that list. And I think I bought the backup thinking that eventually I would get down to only five or six perfumes and then I would need that backup sooner. But yeah. So yeah, not too much else to say about this one. You guys, I will link this down below where you can purchase it from Sephora and also from fragrance buy. If you want to get it at a discount, it's such a great perfume. Another one that is similar and a little bit different. That is maybe a little bit more appropriate for date night and a little bit more strong and sensual is Mongolan intense. That one to me, I've always told you guys, smells almost as if it has a hint of white chocolate or something in it. It's just a little heavier on that vanilla. It's a little bit more sensual. It's a little bit more deep. And in my opinion, it's kind of sexier, better for date night. This one I think is better for all around all the time. Although I also think the intense version you could totally get away with as an everyday perfume. And sometimes I think about bringing the intense one back. I did have that one for a long time. I didn't think that I needed both, so at some point I did get rid of the intense, but man, you guys, this perfume, this combination of notes is just so perfect that I sometimes think it's all I need. You know, this one and maybe the intense one would be all I would need. Um, of course, it's maybe not good for super hot days, high heat of the summer. It's definitely better suited more towards slightly cooler days, evenings, um, cozy nights in. It's a great winter scent. It's also a good bedtime scent. It's a good Netflix and chill scent. Not something I'd wear when it's plus 30 outside and I'm wearing a summer dress. In that case, I would never just be able to have just this perfume. I feel like you need more in your repertoire for hot summer days and things like that. And maybe something that's super, super sexy, um, a little bit more night out. This isn't so much night out. So could this be the only one I would ever have? Probably not. But if I could only have one, I think this would be the one. So that is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. This is kind of a short video, but I thought it was a really interesting idea. I see a lot of top fives and top tens out there, and I've done a lot of top fives and top tens, but I don't think I've ever done a video about if I could only keep one, if I could only keep one. And I think it's because that has historically been such a difficult question to answer. But after the other day wearing this perfume and the kind of feedback that I got from it, and just thinking about it, it just really inspired me to do this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this perfume. Let me know down below if you could only keep one perfume or maybe you only do have one perfume. What is that perfume? I'm really curious to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in my next one.